Kitchen, and I am your founder, Tiffany B, and I am back today with another video, okay? So I'm about to show you step by step how easy it is to apply to purchase a real estate tax lien investment in the state of Alabama, okay? So the very first thing that you want to do, and we're going to jump right into it, I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to get you the education and the information ASAP. So the very first thing you want to do is go to revenue.alabama.gov. Now, once you're on the website, the search bar is going to come up and you want to type in tax delinquent property and click on tax delinquent property and land sales. Now, once the tax delinquent property and land sales pop up, you want to make sure that you read all of this information. Okay. And just so you know, once you apply and you receive your price quote back, you have 10 calendar days to remit your payment to the state of Alabama, okay? And usually that is by cashier's check or money order, not cash, anything like that. And if you purchase a tax sale certificate less than three years, you will receive an assignment of the, the certificate. If you purchase a tax sale certificate that has been in the tax sale for over three years, you will receive a tax deed. Please keep in mind that neither an assignment nor a tax deed gives you a clear title. So please consult a real estate attorney. I am not a real estate attorney. Just want to give that disclaimer out. Okay. Now, when you're on this page, you're going to have two options that you can look up properties. You can search for properties or you can get the PDF and download it. Now, for the purpose of this example, I am using Jefferson County in Birmingham, Alabama, because that is where I'm from. But not only that, I believe that Birmingham is growing and Birmingham has a lot of abandoned properties um, that you can take advantage of and begin building wealth through real estate, but not only building wealth through real estate, but also providing affordable housing. And that's what I'm all about. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to show you how you can click here and search the regular way. So what I'm going to do is go to Jefferson, Birmingham. And when you go here, What's going to happen is every property that is behind on taxes and available for sale with the state of, Al state of Alabama right now will pop up. A lot of these, are it goes all the way back to the year 2000, even 1999 I've seen and before. But for the purpose of this example, I have already went to the PDFs and found an individual so I will go back and show you how you can do this with the PDF. So I'm going to click here for Jefferson, Birmingham. I'm looking just for um, taxes that will be less than $200, okay? So once it comes up, I'm going to look at the year that the individual went into the tax sale and I'm also going to look at the amount that was bid at the time of the tax sale. So like you can see here, the very first thing that popped up, this individual went into the tax sale in the year 2000 and they went into the tax sale at $80. Now we're in the year 2023. So you need to times that by <laughs> a lot. Okay. But for the purpose of this example, I've already found someone and I know that they are on page 557 so I am going to go to this individual right here on the second line and this individual went into the tax sale in the year 2021 for around $66.26 so what I want to do is I want to get that parcel ID number right here the 011-300-311 Zero zero five zero zero zero. Now I know that was a lot, but what we are going to do is we are going to take that parcel number and we are going to put it into the county. Now that I'm on the county site, I am going to go to the county tax assessor department. 
now you want to go to this department because what i'm about to do now is go research a little bit the individual that i just found at the county tax assessor site and we're going to go to view property tax information so right now at this moment the only information that we have was that individual's name and their parcel ID number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into here to search real property. So I do remember that individual's name was Beverly Coker. And this is all uh this is all public information. So for the purpose of this video, that is why I'm using this information it is public. Okay. So in here, because this is the parcel ID that was on the other page so this is the parcel ID and if you notice this particular land because what it is is land when you see zero bedrooms and zero baths that means that it's land at this point it may have been a structure at one point and it was torn torn down but based on her tax information it was probably more than likely land um, the entire time Right here under location is where this property is actually located. You can Google that address and look it up. Now, what you want to do when you're here is now that we see the person name and their address and their location, you want to go to the redemption tab and you want to click Well, you want to put in their name or you can put in the parcel ID number. And you want to go right here because that is the parcel ID. And as you can see, this particular land is going to be less than $200 right now. When you apply, the particular property uh, may increase a little bit because the county and state does charge interest per day. It's not a lot, but that can change. So in order to apply, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put in that individual's name or you can use the parcel number, but I'm just using the name because it's easier right now and when you put in the name what's going to happen is that particular parcel is going to come up you're going to click the cs number and now what comes up is the application for the property um keep in mind i'm using the word land and property interchangeably um, but this is land um, so what you're going to do on this application is you can go in you're going to put in your email address and it's important that you pay attention to how you are typing in your email address because if you type it wrong you will not receive your price quote make sure you type your email address correctly um, also make sure that the name that you apply under will be the name in which the assignment and tax deed will be issued and you are okay with it so an example is if you are married and you know you will remain married and you have changed your name use your legal name if you are using a LLC make sure you use the legal name of the corporation make sure you include LLC at the end or whatever you need to include at the end and then you're going to put in your address state zip code telephone number keep in mind that any information that you put on here especially for address it will be public information and you're just going to press submit and it's that easy now for the purpose of this example i did not go into detail about searching for liens and things like that but as always at encourage millions we offer one-on-one -on -one coaching so if you are interested please make sure you check out encouragemillions.com or any link that you find in the description box below. Have a good one.